Greta Papa, voice of your San Francisco 49ers, joining us. You know, I, I with your encyclopedic knowledge of uh, football history, I, I'm surprised I haven't asked you this, especially since uh, there aren't too many people that know uh, Mike Shanahan uh, that I can talk to as well as you. I've noticed with Kyle, um, you know, last year it was Matt Breida and others, Jeff Wilson Jr., who's now hurt, and, you know, insert Jermichael Hasty or Jarek McKinnon or Tevin Coleman or Raheem Mostert. And, and, and without uh, disrespecting uh, any of those running backs, I'll often say that the last time I remember seeing the kind of plug-and-play environment like this was Olandis Gary, Mike Anderson, uh, you know, Clinton Portis and, and, and Terrell Davis were obviously different breeds, but it, 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 I remember those Mike Shanahan Bronco teams. It seemed like there was a different 1,000-yard rusher each and every year do you see other than the, the surface are there beneath the surface similarities you see from father to son and system and that plug and play atmosphere oh totally totally there's no doubt and i have ruben drones you could go on and on uh about the running back stable and they would go through them all it was the the way they ran the ball which was the the outside zone and you know mike had alex gibbs on his staff but really uh i don't want to say he's a he's a He's the father of the uh, offensive line coaching with the outside zone, but he's up there. And Alex Gibbs, uh, the Raiders brought, you know, Mike was hired as the head coach with the Raiders. Alex Gibbs came, and it just changed the culture too much for Al, and Al hated the outside zone. Uh, he thought you could penetrate through it because the linemen are moving side to side and not straight ahead into a man. So he hated it. But Denver just got it to work the way they did it, and they had great offensive linemen, Mike Schlereth and Todd Nalen and, Gary Zimmerman and all those, they had a great offensive line. And they had a very specific role for the running back, and that is you, you, you get one cut. So you, if you're you know, outside of the left, there are landmarks on the field, and it's great to watch. Like when the ball's on the right hash mark, watch when they run the outside zone to the left. They're going to that left hash mark, and the back's going to hit it right on that hash. And then he's got to make a decision whether to keep it play side if they blocked it well enough on the front side or if they're going to cut it back on the backside. And in the old days, Denver was accused of shot blocking, and that's all been taken out of the league now, You know, going through your knees on the backside. And that was nasty stuff. There were a lot of fights there involving Holly Long and the old Raiders. So that's been going on for a while. The one common denominator, Dave, is Bobby Turner. Bobby Turner was Mike Shanahan's running back coach all those years in Denver, and he's Kyle Shanahan's running back coach here, and Kyle had him in Atlanta with the Falcons, and he's a terrific guy. And he's the guru, and they rotate those backs. So, yes, there, there is that. that's the thought. You know, will you ever see the 49ers uh, draft a running back high? I, I don't think they believe you need to do that. And I don't think they believe you need to pay a running back a lot of money. The one exception was when Mike had Clinton Portis, but then he traded uh, Clinton yep. Portis to Washington for Champ Bailey, and it was a complicated deal. So, but there are guys that are special. Terrell Davis, special, obviously. Clinton Port is special. And I think Raheem Mostert is special uh, in the fact that he just outruns angles. His speed is so amazing. You know, on some of these plays, you're, you're not designing it to block every single defender. There are some guys that are just unblocked, and they're enough downfield or on the backside where, uh, you know, we're going to make a good good run on this play and get enough yardage not to worry about it. And then that guy, Raheem, will often just run by with his speed, even though that player will have the angle. I mean, go back and, and close your eyes and remember the NFC Championship game against Green Bay when it was like, how did he turn the corner on that? That safety was right there. He had the angle on him, and he just ran right by him, and it looks like he's not even running hard. So I, I'm totally with you. There's a lot, but Kyle has expanded this running game out where it's, it's futuristic. It's now with all the jet sweep. Uh, and Mike always had Howard Griffith as a really good lead blocking fullback, good player. He was the one guy that was on a lot of those teams and blocked for a lot of those revolving door backs was Griffith. But Kyle Juszczyk is, is different. He's so special. He's not the, 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 you know, the man on man, full body blocker like Howard Griffith was, but he is just, he knows angles. He's so smart with his Harvard education and what they ask him to do. So what the 49ers do with this running game is futuristic, and it's the now of the league, and they're doing more and more of it. And the fullback is critically important with, uh, within that element with, with check. But, yes, there's no doubt. I mean, you watch 
Kyle uh, from the, you know, when he was an offensive coordinator and all of it, he was running the Shanahan system, which is the, the Mike Shanahan, Alex Gibbs uh, outside zone running game. It's the Carmichael Dave Show on Sports 1140 KHCK.